Hello. Hi. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Uh, today we're going to be talking about OWN Network's reality-based TV series, Put a Ring on It, Season 3, Episodes 1 and 2, right? Yes. And, and today we will be focusing on uh, Kenneth and Shorty. Mm-hmm. Shorty. Shorty. Yeah, like I'm saying DC. Yeah. Shorty. Okay. Okay. Anyway, right. anyway uh, Dr. Nicole uh, uh, introduced uh, Kenneth and Shorty to the group. Um, they met at a Young Thug concert, okay, and uh, they've been dating for three years. Now, what to me was evident right from the beginning, at least visually speaking, was that Shorty seemed much older than Kenneth. Yeah, Shorty looked like Kenneth's auntie, and she is not in the correct pool. She stopped at the wrong pool. She needs to move on and get in the adult pool and get away from the kids. And uh, Hollywood actually showed up for the date. The date with Shorty, they went to a pottery place. Oh, yeah, they, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, and yeah, they chopped yeah. it up over making pottery. Right. And he saw a necklace that was created by someone and he purchased one for her. Right, just as a, as a, as a token of remembrance for the uh, date, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, did you think that that was, that was uh, appropriate? Yeah. When she got home, Kenneth decided that he was going to throw away the necklace that Hollywood purchased and again that did not belong to him mm. it belonged to her mm. people taking hold of stuff that's not does not belong to them and destroying it I don't get that and then he, he went a step further in his foolishness and didn't he say he took her phone or something like that oh uh, this is in the second okay episode. okay Okay. In the second episode, after they went went back to Dr. Nicole and talked about and it, right. talked about the date, and okay. she, Dr. Nicole asked Shorty whether she wanted a second date okay, with that's right, that's right, with yeah. Hollywood, mm -hmm. and she said yes. Yeah, she doesn't uh -huh. mind going out on a date, and of course, Kenneth was Didn't upset. Like that. Right, right. He was upset. Right, he was mumbling and stuff, wasn't he? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, so he they, clearly was not happy about that. So they had a fight. He took her phone, went through her phone, and uh, when he gave it back to her the following day. She opened it and found out that he took pictures of her financial Mental records and, documents and, and, information and, and sent it to himself. Right. Why would he need her financial records? Additionally, Kenneth, when they had an argument before, during this three-year period that they've been together, mm -hmm. the man you're dealing with Trying to ruin your trying to ruin your reputation and your job situation, right? And with your with, colleagues, with, with yeah. your colleagues posting nasty things online on their online site, then other people can see. Yeah, that's kind of gutter level activity, isn't it? And she's still with him. Right. You got to be kidding. Right. Me. Right. That's gutter level. You activity have right got there. to be kidding me. Yeah. That's. This is how she eats. This is how she makes her living. Yeah, and that and, alone is a violation that you can't overcome. Right, and yeah, that's not that's not a that good. That is so reckless. It's unbelievable. Yeah. She could be easily be fired. Yeah, and then and or then, certainly downgraded in the eyes of her colleagues. Right, and there and you know and I guess when that happened, um, if anybody, if any of her colleagues saw that, if certainly they're looking at her with a raised eyebrow because of not necessarily because of what they know about her but because of what they're seeing you know her significant others say about her in a professional setting and then oh again God. this is a, a cautionary tale for us looking on yeah. he said it came out of his mouth that he wanted to destroy right. her right and he wanted to get back at right. her vengeance right vengeance why are you still with a man who actually articulated that he wanted to destroy you when he gets angry? Mm -hmm. Why are you still with him? Right. I mean, again, she, Maya she, Angelou, when someone shows she, you who they, they are, are believe, believe them. them. Women, we cannot change a man. This man here, I love him, but I cannot change him. While I may have tried, I stopped that foolishness a long time ago. Because it's just knocking your head against a concrete wall. A brick wall. A brick wall. Mm -hmm. The man said out of his mouth, I want to destroy you. 
why are you still around him? He's taking pictures of your financial documents and sending it to him. To him. Why? How in the world can you lay down with someone who wants to destroy you? You got to be sleeping with one eye open. Come on. You're telling me a gorgeous, beautiful woman like yourself? There's not a man out there who, who could do better by you? Yeah, Shorty seems like she's a firecracker anyway. So Come just, on. Right, right, right. So why would she, why would she tolerate that? From yeah. a man, baby. Yeah. Get out of the children's pool, Shorty. Yeah. The adult pool is waiting for right. you. Right, yeah. And it's a whole lot of goodness up in there. The dudes up in there got some jobs. Right. The dudes up in there got their finances together. Right. The dudes up there only want the best for you. The dudes up there don't want to short you. Right, and she's and she's a public figure, which means that she doesn't necessarily need, you know, any you know any unnecessary drama because she's gonna get something from the general public anyway, just based on her, her, her profession, right? I believe that we ladies have to get in tune with how powerful we are and what we open our minds to that good man, because you gotta be that in that place. To get that thing or person that you want. So, so you seem uh, seem to feel like uh, if I'm if I'm understanding you right, that she's blocking her own blessing, yes. blessing from from allowing that to happen because yes. she's dealing with the man baby, as you call Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right, right. The moment he sent the first email, mm -hmm. he would have been gone. Out the door for he you. means me no good. Right. After Kenneth's date with Shamaya, or prior to that, uh, after they had a blow up about the phone, where he kind of admitted that. You know, yeah, yeah, I, why he did it, but he also, didn't he apologize for it? You need to run. Right. Run, Forrest. Run. <laughs> hey, damn, like that? <laughs> like that? Wow. These are just opinions. Hey, hey. <laughs> but anyway, getting back getting back to it, uh, uh, the man baby had his uh, had his turn to, uh, to, to date, and he um, he dated Shamaya. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah, and, and boy, Poor Shemaya, she didn't even have a chance. Right. She, because all up in his head space was the argument with Shorty. She, about and what he what you know what he did with her phone and all right. that. Right. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. didn't he didn't yeah. have room for Shemaya at all. Yeah. And you I, heard, I you heard me. <laughs> his body was there at the date, but yeah. his mind no, was, was some, not. Was someplace else. Yeah. Was someplace else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I was, I was, and I think, I think that he he understands that he. Um, has some growing up to do and maturing to do. Now, whether or not that's going to be good enough for Shorty uh, to continue in their relationship, you know, uh, assuming that issues get addressed in that, I don't know. I, but but at least he at least he's to the point where he's forced to at least confront some of the things that are going on with him. Uh, he is je I is jealousy and his immaturity in terms of how that manifests itself in his behavior. Yeah, but I have a question. Why should he do his growing up on my time? Do, do, do that on your time, brother. Get away from me and you take care of yourself. I don't want to witness you growing up on my schedule. I understand. I understand what no. you're saying, but within the context of their relationship, because they're committed to one another, at least to some degree, don't you have to kind of make allowances for them if you're in that committed relationship or no? What I'm saying is this. The dude is a man baby. I understand that. She knows he's a man baby. She knows he doesn't mean her no good. These are things that she absolutely knows. But she also understands and knows that she's in a committed relationship with this guy and that they're on a show to see whether or not they're going to continue in that or not. That's like the definition of just insanity for me. It's Doing you know, the same like, thing, expecting like different you, results? When, when you go to a 12-step program, you know, they, they talk about insanity is taking poison <laughs> and expecting somebody else to die. Yeah. That's the definition. She has no relationship. But she it's does. A because man, baby. She does because they're on the show. I get it. I get it. And so whether or, not, whether or not you and I think that they uh, or, or question the type of relationship they have, is another is another uh, topic of discussion altogether, but they are they do have one because they own a show. Now it might not be what they want, and it might not be what we would consider to be one, but they got one. All right, all right then. Uh, all right then. All right. So okay. <laughs> you struggled with that one, didn't you? 
Yeah, I can tell that was hard. That was hard. That was, hard. That, was, that, was, that was pretty hard. That was rough. But you made it through it, though. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so I need a glass of water yeah. after this. Calm you down, huh? You want we want to thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting on our shenanigans mm. and our opinions. Yes. These are just opinions. Yes. You can live the life the way you want to. Yes. Tell it. Preach. <laughs> But in my estimation, wisdom is always a good thing. Of course. Laced with some understanding. So ladies, let's empower ourselves. Let's treat ourselves like how we were created to be beautiful. Yeah. Agreed. And make sure the men in our lives treat us the same way. And value them. Amen. Yes, my brother. You dab me up? You gonna dab me up? Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. I'm sorry. We'll see you next week. Yeah, I'm hungry too. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>